Now, money isn't everything, but it certainly helps open doors and opportunities for our time here on this planet. And it's neither good nor bad, but will simply amplify more of who you are when you receive more of it. So for example, for the person interested in expanding their consciousness or who already has an expanded consciousness, this only goes to amplify that within yourself. It only allows you to put more towards amplifying and expanding your consciousness even more, which only stands to serve you, those around you, and also the planet as a whole. And so in this video, I'm gonna be giving you three keys to being able to manifest more money, to expand more abundance in your life so that you can grow fast so that you can expand more, so you can open up more windows of opportunity in your growth and your life. I'll also be giving you an exciting opportunity at the end of this video or towards the end that is going to have you magnetizing more money and abundance into your life really quickly, as quickly as I know how, but let's jump into what the first key is. Is. Now, the first key is understanding that like anything physical, anything that you can perceive with your five senses, anything in the physical world emanates from the inner world. Remember, the game is an outer follows the inner world. And so for those who are not experiencing abundance in their outer world, I guarantee that if I was able to go onto their inner world, I would see that there's a lot of lack let's say fruits growing in their inner world. I could see that there's a lot of doubt, a lot of things of this nature because the outer is always a mirror to the inner. And this is especially true with money. If you take a look at people who have a lot of money and they're also well-balanced people, you can almost always identify that energetically and inwardly, they have a lot of amazing balance and abundance going on in the inner world. This is just how the universe works. It works through the mirror principle, through the law of balance, through the outer world, following the inner world. And you need to have this awareness first because if you're trying to do all of this stuff in the outer world, be more productive, whatever else it is, even if you allow yourself and through that grinding and hustling make some more money, you're gonna find ways to sabotage it because the outer world is going to have to adjust to your inner world. And so this is the first key we have to mention because we can't get around this. The outer world is going to reflect the inner world. Essentially cultivate abundance and prosperity in the inner world first because those inner roots are gonna produce the outer fruits. Key number two is never speak ill about money. You'd be surprised by how many people, they say they want abundance. They say they want, you know, more prosperity. They want more opportunities. They want the ability to do something they love while also earning money. They want the ability to maybe be a digital nomad like I was, or kind of still am, I guess, technically. But then they turn around after that and go, a complain about money. They start speaking ill of money. Oh, it doesn't grow on trees. It's the root of all evil. And you have conflicting beliefs. On one side, your soul wants abundance because your soul understands that this is a good thing and it's only gonna help you on your journey. And then on the other side, your brain or the conditioning you've been brought up on might be saying, you know, money's the root of all evil. We can see how this is gonna create a conflict. And when you have conflicts, you have a kind of neutralization of energy. And when you neutralize energy, nothing can move in your life right? Through bringing up our energy, through becoming energized, things start to move. But if we have conflicting beliefs, so for example, you say you want abundance, but you have clear lack mentality and beliefs, it's going to neutralize each other and you're just going to stay in place and not really have much abundance come in. And so catch yourself if you're speaking ill about money, catch yourself if you're speaking in terms of lack and just be honest because it means you have some roots within you that are bearing the fruit of lack. Do not speak ill of money. Do not think ill of money. If you think your thoughts are just for you, uh-uh, they are transmitted out into the universe, into the field. So you could be like, I'm abundant, but inwardly be like, no, I'm not. I'm in lack. Money sucks. Well, guess what? You're transmitting that out. And again, this is not a call to beat yourself up if you're doing this, but just a call to awareness to discover that if that is what you're doing, to start adjusting it, start catching yourself, and you'll eventually train yourself to no longer speak ill about it, in fact, to speak very highly of it. Now, the opportunity I wanted to present you guys with is I'm opening my program, Rising Abundance, for a limited time, and you're not gonna find anything better on the market that's going to produce you such amazing results. It's at a very low price, and it's gonna go really deep into this stuff. So if you have lack mentality, it's going to change that for you. If you are struggling to bring in abundance, again, the whole program's name is Rising Abundance. We're gonna rise this in your life from the inside out. And so if you're tired of going 
going in loops and kind of in cycles of up and down with this, then it's going to teach you exactly how to stop that and to continue to make it rise in your life so that you always have enough, so that you have a surplus, etc., etc. There'll be more information in the first link in the description. Now, key number three is having what we call a DCA. This is a definite chief aim, and this is so crucial in this process because you are an intentional co-created being, meaning whatever you focus on has a lot of power. And a DCA, a definite chief aim, allows you to focus in a particular direction with your finances or anything else that creates this laser beam of focus. And this is so effective that the person who came up with this, Napoleon Hill, or coined this term, said that when he applied this, the results came in so fast that it absolutely scared him. And if you want to learn how to do this, go check out this video next where I not only cover the DCA, but I give you a full manifestation system. I mean, this is like paid course level material. And this is going to teach you exactly how to start manifesting. Now, it's not going to be something that holds your hand and keeps you accountable and everything else, but it's going to give you all the information you need. And so I would check that out next.